Welcome back to Tech Tomorrow. Today we're diving into a fascinating and somewhat unsettling topic that blends both fact and speculation. How long it really takes for the public to know about and use certain technologies. We'll explore the often hidden timelines behind the release of groundbreaking technologies like the Internet, blockchain, artificial intelligence, and quantum computers. As we unravel the stories behind these innovations, we'll also delve into how governments may have used them long before they became available to the public. This episode will blend factual information with speculative insights to give you a broader perspective on the intersection of technology and government control. Buckle up, because some of what we discuss may challenge the way you think about the technology we use every day. 1. The Internet The Internet, as we know it, has a history that stretches back much further than most people realize. Its origins can be traced to the 1960s with ARPANET, a project funded by the U.S. Department of Defense. ARPANET was developed as a way to create a decentralized communication network that could survive a nuclear attack. The first successful message was sent over ARPANET in 1969, marking the birth of the Internet. But here's where things get interesting. ARPANET wasn't just about communication. It was also a powerful tool for data sharing, intelligence gathering, and covert operations. The military and government agencies could use this network to coordinate actions and share classified information in ways that were invisible to the public. It's plausible that the Internet's early capabilities were far more advanced than we've been led to believe. For nearly two decades, the Internet remained largely under government and academic control. It wasn't until the early 1980s that it began to transition into the public domain. Even then, it was a slow process. The introduction of the World Wide Web in 1991 by Tim Berners-Lee made the Internet accessible to the masses. But one has to wonder, why did it take so long for this technology to be released? Was it really just a matter of technological development, or were there other factors at play? There's a compelling argument to be made that the government held back the Internet's full potential until they were sure they had fully exploited it for their own purposes. Consider the implications. A communication tool that could connect people across the globe, yet it was kept under wraps for years. Could it be that the government didn't want the public to have access to such a powerful tool until they had developed other means of control and surveillance? Once the Internet was released, it quickly became apparent that it could be used to monitor and influence the masses. Social media, search engines, and even online shopping habits provide vast amounts of data that can be used to track, predict, and even manipulate behavior. Was this always the plan? Could the Internet have been designed from the start as a tool for control rather than freedom? 2. Blockchain and Cryptocurrencies Blockchain technology is often heralded as a revolutionary tool that promises decentralization and financial freedom. But let's take a closer look at its origins and the role it might play in a much larger and perhaps more sinister game. The concept of blockchain dates back to 1991, when Stuart Haber and W. Scott Stornetta introduced a system for document timestamps that could not be tampered with. However, it wasn't until 2008 that blockchain truly entered the spotlight with the mysterious release of Bitcoin by the equally mysterious Satoshi Nakamoto. Bitcoin was positioned as a decentralized digital currency, free from the control of governments and banks. But what if this narrative is only half the story? Satoshi Nakamoto's true identity remains unknown, fueling speculation that Bitcoin may not be the work of a single individual, but rather a government entity or a coalition of governments. Could blockchain have been developed as an experiment in creating a new form of digital control? Think about it. A system that records every transaction, visible to anyone, but nearly impossible to alter. On the surface, it sounds like a tool for transparency and freedom. But in the wrong hands, it could be a powerful tool for surveillance and control. 
governments could potentially track every transaction, monitor financial behavior, and even exert control over the economy in ways we've never imagined. The fact that blockchain was released to the public as a decentralized technology might be part of a larger strategy. By allowing it to proliferate, governments could observe how it's used, identify potential threats, and develop countermeasures. Meanwhile, they could be using a more advanced, secret version of blockchain for their own purposes, far beyond anything available to the public. Cryptocurrencies, while offering the promise of financial freedom, also have the potential to disrupt traditional economic systems. Governments have a vested interest in controlling the flow of money, and blockchain could be the key to maintaining that control in the digital age. It's possible that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies were released as a way to test the waters, to see how the public would react to a new form of money that isn't tied to a central authority. Could the rise of cryptocurrencies be part of a grander plan to eventually replace traditional currencies with digital ones that are fully controlled by governments? The timing of their release, the rapid development of blockchain technology, and the ongoing efforts by governments to regulate cryptocurrencies all point to the possibility that we're not seeing the whole picture. 3. Artificial Intelligence Artificial intelligence, AI, is often seen as a futuristic technology, but its roots go much deeper. The concept of AI dates back to the 1950s, with early pioneers like Alan Turing and John McCarthy laying the groundwork for machines that could think and learn like humans. However, AI development remained largely theoretical for decades, with most of the advancements happening behind closed doors. It's no secret that governments have a keen interest in AI, particularly for military and intelligence applications. From the Cold War to the present day, AI has been used to develop autonomous weapons systems, enhance surveillance capabilities, and even predict social and political trends. But what if the AI we're familiar with today is only a fraction of what's actually out there? The idea that governments might be using far more advanced AI than the public is aware of isn't far-fetched. Consider the implications. AI that can process vast amounts of data, make complex decisions, and even predict human behavior could be an incredibly powerful tool for control. It's possible that governments have been using AI for years to monitor and influence public opinion, manipulate social media, and even alter the course of elections. Public awareness of AI began to grow in the 1990s with the development of computer games, search engines, and automated customer service systems. However, the AI that most of us interact with today, virtual assistants, recommendation algorithms, and autonomous vehicles, only became mainstream in the last decade. What if this public-facing AI is just the tip of the iceberg, a way to introduce us to the concept while more advanced versions are used behind the scenes? There's also the question of ethics. AI has the potential to make decisions that impact millions of lives, and yet much of its development has been shrouded in secrecy. Could it be that the AI we interact with is intentionally limited? While the true power of AI is kept hidden for use in ways that the public might find unacceptable, the idea that AI could be used to control and manipulate people rather than serve them is a chilling thought, but not an impossible one. As AI continues to evolve, it's worth considering what we're not being told. The rapid advancements in AI technology, coupled with the secrecy surrounding its development, suggest that there may be more going on than meets the eye. Could AI be the ultimate tool for control? And if so, how long has it been in use without our knowledge? 4. Quantum Computers Quantum computing is a field that has captured the imagination of scientists, tech enthusiasts, and conspiracy theorists alike. The first functioning quantum computer was built in 1998 by Isaac Chuang, Neil Gershenfeld, and Mark Kubinek. But the idea of quantum computing dates back much further to the early 20th century. 
quantum computers are designed to solve problems that are beyond the capabilities of classical computers, such as breaking encryption, optimizing complex systems, and simulating quantum phenomena. But here's where things get speculative. Quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize everything from cryptography to financial markets, and it's likely that governments have been exploring its potential for years. What if quantum computers have already been used to crack encrypted communications, manipulate financial systems, or even influence global politics? The secrecy surrounding quantum computing makes it a prime candidate for speculation, and it's possible that we're only seeing the surface of what's really going on. Consider the implications of a government having access to quantum computing while the public is still using classical computers. They could have the ability to decrypt any message, solve problems that are currently unsolvable, and gain a strategic advantage over other nations. The fact that quantum computing is still in its early stages of public development suggests that there may be more going on behind the scenes than we're aware of. Public awareness of quantum computing has grown in recent years, but true quantum computers are still not available for general use. The technology is incredibly complex, and its potential applications are still being explored. However, the fact that governments are investing heavily in quantum research suggests that they see it as a game-changer, one that could give them unprecedented power. Could it be that quantum computing has already been used in ways that the public isn't aware of? The secrecy surrounding its development, coupled with the potential for it to be used for surveillance, control, and even warfare, makes it a prime candidate for speculation. What if the future of quantum computing is already here, but it's being kept hidden from the public until the time is right? Quantum computing has the potential to change the world in ways we can't even imagine, but it's also a technology that could be used for control and manipulation. The fact that we know so little about what's really happening behind the scenes suggests that there may be more going on than meets the eye. In this video, we've explored the fascinating and sometimes unsettling timelines behind some of the most groundbreaking technologies of our time. From the internet to quantum computing, these technologies have shaped our world, but they've also raised questions about the role of governments in their development and release. How much of what we know is true, and how much is hidden from us? The truth may be more complex than we think, and it's worth considering what other technologies might still be waiting in the shadows, unknown to the public. As we move forward into the future, it's essential to remain curious and questioning. Technology has the power to transform our lives for the better, but it also has the potential to be used in ways that are less than benign. By staying informed and exploring the hidden histories of these technologies, we can better understand the world we live in and the forces that shape it. If you enjoyed this video, comment down below on your thoughts about what you believe to be true and what you liked or did not like. Don't forget to like this video, check out our community, share with someone you know, smash that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell to stay updated on all things tech tomorrow. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the vast world of tech tomorrow.